Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar, Stay in Touch Product Enhancements, version 5.42, Upload Guest Image to Guest Card, Updates to Currency Format, and more, presented by Stay in Touch Technical Sales Engineer, Aldrich Schultz. I'm your host, Aaron Fisher, the content writer here at Stay in Touch. Today's presentation will cover how you can get the most out of the Stay in Touch Cloud PMS version 5.42 product release. In this webinar, we will explain how to upload a guest image to a guest card, highlight how Stay in Touch Cloud PMS remembers the number of rate entries selected to show, review additional guest card fields implemented, illustrate how multiple hotels in a chain display an alphabetical order from the menu, discuss currency format updates, and highlight the financial transaction payment report added to scheduled reports. We will have a short Q&A session at the end of the presentation. Feel free to submit questions through the, um, throughout the presentation, and we'll answer them in the order they are received at the end. And that's all I have right now. Aldrich, I'm going to hand the presentation over to you. Great. Thank you, Erin. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on our release notes for version 5.42. And to start off with that, we're going to look at the upload of guest images to the guest card. In order to upload an image to the guest card, you can go to the menu, select front desk, and go to guest to find any guest profile. I'll go ahead and type in my name here to pull up my profile. And as I take a look, I can see one profile that actually does not yet have an image and one that does. So we can take the profile with the missing guest image. And to upload that, we can simply click on the avatar itself. And we'll see the ability to upload images directly to the guest profile. I can go ahead and click on the image. Open and we can instantly add a picture of the guest to the guest profile to identify at any time we're looking at the guest reservation. Okay. Next, we can go ahead and take a look at the Stay in Touch PMS in the settings. And here in the settings, we're gonna take a look at a few things. And the first is going to be in our rate settings, we've actually now included the ability to set the number of entries that you can take a look at. So as you can see here, I have this defaulted to 50, and I can actually update that to 25, 10, and of course 100. But if I change it to 25, as you can see here, the screen will adjust to show me 25 entries for rates. If I travel out of that, say to hotel and staff settings, I can travel back to rates and rates, and I can see here my 25 entries has been retained so that I can continue to view the same amount of entries for my pagination. Okay. Next, we'll go ahead and actually take a look at our multi property functionality. Now, if you are in your hotel connected to other hotels in a similar chain, you'll be able to see within your menu the ability to switch between those different properties. Here, I can click on the drop down next to the name of my uh, current hotel that I'm logged into, Wixford Bay Hotel, and I will be able to see the list of other hotels connected within my hotel chain. This is now available to you in alphabetical order. So from this point, you'll be able to go in and log into your property. And of course, if you're connected, you'll be able to see all of your properties in alphabetical order within the menu. From there, let's go ahead and take a look at currency format. Now in our currency format, you'll find this in your settings. So if you were to go to your settings, and of course settings again, you'll see your menu items here. And we just travel to hotel and staff, hotel details, and this is where you'll be able to scroll down 
and find your currency format. As you can see here, this is our property currency format. And you'll go ahead and of course make a selection for the format based off of your currency. Now what this update will be able to do is reflect this format within several areas of the system to include areas like the guest card, state card, your journal, accounts, cashier screen, reporting, so on and so forth. To understand every area that the currency format will be that will that will be affected by the currency format you can actually travel to our latest release notes of course this is going to be version 5.42 and you'll see all of the following areas that are that where this update is going to be reflected okay and for our final item that we'll go ahead and take a look at, we are going to travel to our scheduled reports because we've actually added a new report that's available for scheduling. So of course, from our menu, we can go directly to reports, schedule a report. And from there, we'll go ahead and go to new reports. And our new report added is going to be the financial transaction payment report. So we can actually type that in or scroll down, whatever works for you. And you'll actually see here the financial transaction payment report, which is now available for you to schedule in a CSV format. Okay. And of course, just like all of our reports that are schedulable, you'll be able to pick the frequency at which this report is going to be distributed and of course the location to where you want to distribute your report. All right, that will conclude all of the, the, uh, the functionality that we've enhanced in this version 5.42 of the Stay in Touch Cloud PMS. And if you have any questions, we'll go ahead and take those now uh, for any concerns or additional explanation of needed. Okay. Thank you, Aldrich, for the insightful presentation. I'd now like to turn the floor over for questions. Remember, you can submit questions through the question box in the middle of the control panel. So I don't see any questions yet, but I'll give everyone a few seconds to enter those. All right. So since there are no more questions, I'd like to take to the floor to offer some final thoughts. So today we explained how to upload a guest image to a guest card, highlighted how Stay in Touch Cloud PMS remembers the number of great entries selected to show, reviewed additional guest card fields implemented, illustrated how multiple hotels in a chain display an alphabetical order from the menu, discussed currency format updates, and highlighted the financial transaction payment report added to scheduled reports. With that, I'd like to conclude our presentation. Thank you all for coming, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to email me at erin.fisher at Thanks again.